The problems at Cotton Cove are, are ultimately complicated. Route 113 is stacked right up on top of the water. Not a lot of room on the shoreland side to do anything with it. Um, a steep drop off from the roadside edge with small cross culverts carrying a lot of water and a lot of sediment directly into Cotton Cove. The shoreline is slowly kind of eroding away and ultimately the issues there require multi phases of intervention and require a lot of work on the upland side to ensure that the material coming down is not exacerbating the issue. There's been a handful of projects that we've undertaken um, so far early this summer. Up on top of the hill on Range Road, the property owners were generous enough to put their money in to start dealing with some of the stormwater issues and the runoff and erosion that was occurring up there, limiting the amount of downflow stormwater. And then we came down to take on the shoreline. On a low point on the shoreline where the vegetation had dissipated and a significant amount of stormwater would run off of Route 113, we built a infiltration barrier using blueberry bushes and coconut fiber erosion waddles to stop the flow of water directly through this beach area, slowing it down, removing the sediment and physical material from it, and the blueberry bushes are there to stabilize the soil. The next phase was to deal with the stormwater that comes off of the base of Range Road and makes its way west on Route 113 into a small cross culvert and then directly in to Cotton Cove's shoreline. Um, the cross culvert ultimately is too small and gets too clogged and so in order for it to do its job properly the water that makes its way to it needs to be removed of all physical material and so an armored erosion infiltration trench was constructed um, in early July to slow that flow of water allowing it to seep into the ground removing the physical material from it. We've made an amazing start to remediating the stormwater issues along the Cotton Cove shoreline that were identified in the watershed management plan. But ultimately, the job is not done. The next phase is to deal with the stretch of Range Road that comes down to Route 113, stabilizing that, building that up, limiting the erosion potential that can occur there, limiting ultimately the amount of suspended solids that makes its way down, um, not overwhelming the systems that we have put in place. This is an example of all the property owners on Range Road, on Cotton Mountain Drive, the owners of the Laughing Bear Cottages, the shoreline owners down here at the end, RS Eastman and the Squam Lakes Association coming together, understanding the combined effort that is needed by all of us in order to ensure the protection and the long-term quality of the Squam watershed.